Welcome, 8th grade math students, to my first video of the 2020-2021 school year. It's about powers, and powers are intended to make math easier, but that's not always true. Powers are used whenever there is repeated multiplication of the same number or letter. For example, if I have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, let's see, I lost count how many 5's are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This problem can be rewritten in a compact form so that you only have to re so that you only have to write the repeated number being multiplied in this case 5 one time and the number of times it's being multiplied as the exponent 6 So we go from writing this long multiplication problem here to just writing this problem here. It does seem to make math a little easier so far. Let's take a look at another problem. Let's say we have 6 to the second times 6 to the third. This is a multiplication problem because the operation right here is multiplication. So the question is, can we rewrite this multiplication problem? so that there is only one power instead of two? And the answer to that question is, of course, yes. I can take six and rewrite it as six times six. I can take six to the third and rewrite it as six times six times six, which happens to be my favorite number. And I can see that 6 to the 2nd times 6 to the 3rd is really 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, which equals, let's see, I'm using the number 6 over and over. How many times? 5. So 6 to the 2nd times 6 to the 3rd equals 6 to the 5th. Is there a shortcut to doing a problem like this? And the answer is yes. When you have powers in a multiplication problem, like 5 to the 12th times 5 to the 13th, the shortcut is to add the exponents together. So 5 to the 12th times 5 to the 13th is really 5 to the 12 plus 13, which equals 5 to the 25th. That's a big number, 5 to the 25th. So the rule is when multiplying powers, add the exponents. Easy. Easy. So here are some more examples a to the third times a to the ninth equals a to the twelfth. 
5 to the 4th times 5 to the 32nd is 5 to the 36th. Four to the zero times four to the tenth equals four to the tenth. By the way, one times four to the tenth equals four to the tenth. So what do you think four to the zero equals? Hmm. It's not zero, and it's not four. Maybe you can figure it out. Sometimes you have problems that look like this. Let's say that I have three times y times five y to the third times y to the sixth. These guys right here, these big numbers, those are called coefficients. That's a big word for big numbers. So we have coefficients. Coefficients are 3 and 5. The exponents are... One, one, three, and six. Those are your exponents. So what does this problem equal? Three y times five y to the third times y to the sixth. Well, when you have a problem like this, you want to multiply the coefficients. And I know this is going to be confusing because you'll want to multiply everything or add everything. But you want to multiply the coefficients I'm out of room, and add the exponents. Oh my, that's terrible writing. I'm sorry. But you know what? These videos are not going to be perfect. But I can do better than that. Next time I will. Um, the exponents are 1, 3, and 6. That equals 10 y to the 10th. Oh my gosh, I forgot the variable. You don't forget the variable like I did. All right, I'm going to write neater this time. And I'm not going to forget my variable. 4a to the second times negative 3a times negative 5a to the fourth. Multiply the coefficients which means I'm going to multiply 4, negative 3, and negative 5. That equals 60. Then you add the exponents. That's 2, that's 1, and that's 4 for a to the 7th. See... Powers are supposed to make math easier, but th this is getting a little complicated. Anyway, you have what you need to know to try the assignment in CK12. Good luck. Email me if you have questions. I'll be happy to help you. Bye.